What's going on everyone? A little bit different video here today, off the bike. Uh, we're here to talk about some motorcycle pants, yeah. Um, motorcycle pants are usually not a pair of jeans. Uh, I'm, I have the scars to prove the jeans suck. I'm thick headed, it took me two accidents to figure that one out. Um, a pair of jeans just pretty much don't do shit in an accident. Nowadays, every time I go riding, I actually wear a pair of motorcycle pants. And uh, kind of look like a badass with them on, you know, you're fucking, look at me, god dang riding a motorcycle. But it's shitty because, like, you, if you go anywhere and you, you want to go, like, not just be riding, you gotta bring a backpack, you gotta bring your fucking pants, your other pants with you. In my case, I always end up having to wear my motocross boots, you know, they come up to here because they'll cover, keep the uh, exhaust on my bike from burning my pants. Your jean doesn't normally burn, but your jeans suck in an accident. Well, a while back, um, Rock, or Rock, as I like to call them, decided to sponsor me. They sent me a couple pair of pants to ride over here. Now, this, bear with me, what we got going on here is a pair of their pants. Now, they don't know I'm about to do this. I'm about to drag these motherfuckers behind a truck at 60 miles an hour and show you how they hold up. Now, right next to it here, we have a regular pair of pants just bought, you know, brand new. And they're, uh, they're kind of the control. For me, I already know damn well these are going to fall apart. But a lot of you out there think that a pair of jeans is perfectly fine to ride in. And I want to sort of visually demonstrate to you guys how well, uh, or not well, they're going to work in an accident. These, I actually don't know myself, but I'm curious to see myself how these are going to do in an accident. Now what we've done here, is we've pretty much just built some rig. There's some 2x4s going down into each one of these. And obviously a bar here across, pretty self-explanatory. Some, some pink training wheels because we're badasses. And uh, that should... Uh, do good here. We actually um, put underneath each one of these knees a, uh, a small knee, knee pug thing. What that does is it's going to raise the knee slightly and that's going to simulate. Because trust me, when you fall on your chest and you drag down a road, trust from a guy who's done it twice, you're going to go elbows and knees are the main things that are going to drag the ground. And that's why these are raised just a little bit. The rest, a lot of his pants will probably still hit the ground when we do this, but this is going to keep a majority of it um, dragging on the knee, which is the main part you're going to hit in an accident. Um, I really don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully the guys at Rock aren't too pissed that I'm destroying a, a perfectly good pair of pants they just sent me. They have no idea I'm doing this, but, uh, fuck. The rig fucking broke! Yeah, that didn't, that didn't work. Let's back up, just back up to it. I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> Well, not really what we wanted, but that was a 60 mile an hour slide there. I say fuck it, let's see what we got. I don't know, really, clearly we did not want the rope to break. We lost a wheel. <laughs> this is a fucking disaster. But, yeah, it did slide from, well, how fast were we going? Uh, about 65. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, oh wow, okay. Alright. Well, let's just bring it on in here. We can show you what we got going on. Um, that one got not near as good as a slide as this one did. But what you see here, there's clearly sand. I forgot to mention there's 50 pounds of sand in each one of these legs. Um, and we, we rip right through these. There's another rip right here. And uh, let's see what other damage I can see to these. I'm shaving legs there. <laughs> Let's see what other damage I can see to these. <laughs> Alright, we suck at building rigs, clearly, but uh, these clearly did, they fit, did fail, and yeah, these, these goddamn, he's 
Sandman is bleeding to death right now. All right, let's come over here and look at these ones. This is actually awesome. Look at this, it ripped right through the jean. This is exactly what we were expecting. The jean wasn't meant to hold up. The jean is, you know, that's just the same as this jean. But right here, that's Kevlar, baby. Look at that shit. So we've gone through the jean into the Kevlar. Um, here, you're out a pair of jeans, you know, probably some bumps and bruises. You know, not mention your bike or anything else like that, but this physically, you are out a pair of jeans. Over here, you know, mind you, this didn't slide right. You're maybe looking at a skin graft, something else. The shape it is, yeah, we really wanted this to slide a bit, a bit longer on the fucking uh, road, but we didn't get that today. All right, well, now that I've shown these work worth a damn, I'm kind of glad to find out that they do, because um, I've been wearing them, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let me go ahead and tell you what I think about these pants. Um, First of all, they are comfortable, which is kind of what you want. You know, most motorcycle pants, when you wear them, at least the ones I have, you really feel the padding in it. You feel some of the awkward seams and stuff because they're built for safety first. Now, these are built for safety first, too, uh, as the guys at Rock did tell me. But they are, um, they are comfortable. They did a good job with them. They do feel like pants. One of the cool things about them is uh, there actually is a zipper down here. Right there is a zipper. See, look at the sand trying to come out of it there. There's a zipper right here, and inside this is where you insert the knee pad. The knee pad's right here. There's another pad right here on the hip. Now, you can pop these pads out. Let's say you get wherever you need to go. You're like, ah, uh, you know, I don't want to, you know, have the pad there anymore, which honestly doesn't annoy me anyway. You whip it right out of the bottom here. It comes straight out. Uh, the other ones are in the sides of the hips here. They, um, you do have to unbutton the pants to get them out. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but they come out pretty easy. You know, that's the only improvement I can think of is they can make that one a little bit easier to get out and maybe put the zipper on top instead of the bottom. But I haven't seen a pant that the, the fucking uh, pads come out near that easy. Usually you're, you're folding things inside out and undoing Velcro and shit doesn't make any sense. Here with these pants, everything is triple stitched. You see the red line, but there's actually two more lines after that on all the major pits here. And that's pretty awesome. You know, obviously a normal pair of jeans, you're looking at double stitching at most, you know, but everything on here is uh, much tougher. The uh, the Kevlar, at least in these, is one big piece. It's not patches. Now I went and looked at some other brands. I won't mention what those were, but in the other brands I looked at in the store, they were actually made in different patches. You know, these are some of the budget brand ones. Uh, these are are just one solid piece, which is supposed to be better. You know, I would only assume that's going to make them better. Some of these budget brand ones, we've heard horror stories and shit. Uh, apparently, somebody, one Chinese factory, was just using cotton instead of Kevlar, and they were dyeing it yellow, which is just fucking garbage, and they had to get recalled, you know. These are um, these are really well priced. I won't mention the price, because God knows you'd be watching this video in five fucking years. What are you doing? Watch a current video. Um, the prices will probably have changed by then. You know, money will be worth fucking nothing. Who knows? So, uh, but I'll say you, they're... They're, um, they're right in the middle between a really high dollar brand and a shitty budget brand that you wouldn't want to trust anyway. Uh, I can tell you though, they don't have any money sunk into advertising. You know, that this is probably the biggest advertisement they've ever fucking gotten. They better fucking kiss my ass. So, <laughs> when you're buying these, you're not buying advertisement. You're buying a fucking, most of the money is put into the fucking product. So, you know, it's small company, but quality shit. And they also got some carbon fiber helmets. Uh, they've got... These fucking wheel light kits that make your shit look like a goddamn Tron bike. That's pretty cool. And, uh, and they fucking sponsor me, and I'm a badass motherfucker, so, eh, what are you gonna do? But anyway, you know, I got, um, I got one more idea here. Since these pants are still fucking sitting here, we didn't get the right test. I say we try one more thing. Good. Oh, work. All right. <laughs> you smell the wood? Is that the wood burning? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh shit. Okay. All right. That's that's bad. That's bad. It's, it's hitting something. That's the only reason it's stopping it. That's all torn. Right here is torn. Um, 
Oh, maybe right up here. Alright, that's pretty fucking ripped. I don't see if there's any penetration on these ones. The <laughs> pockets are gone. There's but there's the Kevlar sticking through. Kevlar. A little more Kevlar. I don't does it look like it got through to him? I think we just hit the Kevlar. I don't think we got past it. This one is intact. And there's like at least <laughs> it just it, it just oh, I didn't even mean to do that. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> This one's got, you know, a couple holes here, 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 down here, and I don't even want to go into the pockets. They're pretty gross looking right now. All right, well, you know, it's your fucking ass, I guess, right? <laughs> so that's that's pretty that's a pretty long drag, and these ones totally were on the ground more than those ones were. I guess we we fucked something up there. <laughs> Look at where this one was touching all over, and that one wasn't. But, uh, yeah, we're not perfect. It's a fucking shitty rig that we built. But, <laughs> yeah, the, uh, these ones definitely held up. These ones didn't. You know, that, you know, that, that could possibly be fucking skin grafts and other shit. You never know. This one is just basically, you know, a new pair of pants. So, yeah, that's, that's a big price difference right there. If you're thinking you don't want to fork out the money for a pair of Kevlar pants, then, you know, that's on you, I guess. But to me, that's more cost that's more costly in the long run than this will ever be so uh, that's that uh, and I forgot to mention I'm actually wearing the other pair they sent me I was saying before you can just pull the pads out I pulled the pads out of here and here and the bottoms of them and they're just like a normal pair of jeans you know you can just wear these wherever and then you know it's kind of like you know what Kevlar jeans are like the fucking mullet of motorcycle pants business and uh, <laughs> was it business and party at the same time yeah so without looking a little as retarded as a mullet is but uh yeah there you go so yeah buy some fucking rock pants you fag It is, buddy. Uh, and that's... Uh, ah, I get up here! Oh, come on, there's our Z's! <laughs> Guess which one I am right now. It makes me sense to get back up to that stuff. Alright, yeah, even if you want to go into like...